Talking about winging it, Jessica didn't open her email, <laughs> but she did a beautiful job. 4-H is a stellar, oh, Toastmasters, to, Toastmaster Jessica, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests. 4-H is a stellar program for youth development. And I would like to mention four, four points that are important in understanding 4-H. 4-H has a storied history, it, and we have to learn what, for, second, we have to learn what 4-H means. We like to learn what 4-H for, what is and how, it, how it's put to work in the local community. And fourth but not unimportant is how can we be involved in 4-H. About 150 years ago, Congress set in motion the workings for the land-grant colleges and universities. It was not to produce more farmers or mechanics. It was to expand the scope of higher learning to not just be classical studies and scientific studies. We want to include agriculture and also mechanical arts. At that time, a lot of people, many, many people were involved in agriculture. Not only that, that's the substance by which we survive. 4-H means, the values of 4-H is head, heart, hands, and health. How could it be more encompassing? The whole body is included. And the 4-H pledge is very important also. Can't you remember or did you sit in those meetings and you always said the pledge? I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. Well, I would like to mention third, in the third spot, 4-H at work. 4-H, of course, is guided by many guidelines from the um, Extension Service, but really, the work goes on at the member level. And I have to tell you how that, how that Cooperative Extension Service was formed. In about 25 years after the land-grant colleges were instituted, there was a research started. And they needed a way to provide the information and, and techniques to the general public. The, Cooperative Extension Service was formed so that could be done. With that in mind, the Extension Service started the 4-H clubs. That's the youth development of this land-grant college provision. Why? Because you want to get the young people into these good values and have something worthwhile to do. The 4-H club, we were heavily involved in 4-H club. Not only that, I was as a youngster, and you can stay until you're about 21. Scholarships are available, so it's really a payoff. Plus, you work with things that you want to work with. You can take projects that you like. For instance, you go to the local meetings, and you can express, well, the parents can say, my child is interested in electricity. Well, the group that forms and does the planning will be sure that someone in that uh, township, in our German township, we had someone that was interested in electricity, really an expert, that would guide those students. My husband worked with the kids in woodworking. And I helped with the clothing and the foods. 
everybody can get involved. You've got your leader, but you really need the parents to work with the children. How could you get any better than to have a good foundation for a good citizen that grows with confidence and abilities? There are uh, statistics that Tufts University put out after they did research on youth development that said that uh, students that were involved with 4-H were likely more than twice as much as other students likely to get good grades and stay in school. They're twice as much more likely to go to plan or to go to college. They're 41% less likely to engage in risky behavior. There's 25% more likely to positively contribute to their families and communities. Well, rather than stand back and say that the youth are going to hell in a handbasket, why not get involved with 4-H? There is a 4-H club and skeleton in every county and in every state, and it's available to everyone. You can get involved by donating. You can donate, as Dr. Liss, our dermatologist in days gone by, donated his money, and also he would talk to the kids as they came in for their skin work about 4-H. He checked with Kathy. Are you interested in 4-H? Of course she was already involved, but I was surprised that he, in his professional capacity, would do that. Surprised but pleased. You can be a sponsor. You, if you want German Township to just do the best at the 4-H fair, you can give extra money to publicize the 4-H and so forth. You can find 4-H's for people. For instance, somebody you talk to, what is this 4-H? You can give them the number of the extension service. And you can volunteer yourself. That is the best way to get involved with kids that are actively doing something. And they really enjoy it. And also, they're very competitive. So buckle your seatbelt. Those kids really like woodworking. And the girls give the best performance. <laughs>